Hey guys, welcome. It's Nikki Free, and I'm coming to you on a Sunday night to talk to you a little bit about my girl, Wendy Williams. Okay, so Wendy is just out here living her best life, as it appears. Now, we do know that Wendy is good at hiding things, so I just kind of want to with that in mind, I just kind of want to touch on the friendship that she has developed with Black China. Now, I feel that this is more Hollywood, like a Hollywood friendship as opposed to like a genuine thing, like a real like BFF, like I'm going to tell you all my secrets, you tell me all your secrets kind of friendship. I think it's more of a Hollywood type friendship that could be, you know, a good friendship Hollywood style. Basically, they're both benefiting from each other. Black China is tapping into a demographic that she would have not been able to tap into had she not been exposed to Wendy and, and vice versa. You know, they both are well known. They both have huge followings. However, you don't have all the following in the world. There's always people you can tap into. And anytime you branch yourself or uh, attach yourself to someone who has a large following, they always have someone in their following that may not have known you or may not have given you a chance for whatever reason. But if their fave gives you a chance, then, hey, let me check this out. Let me check out her reality show. Wendy says this is her friend, so let me check out this reality show. Or China says Wendy's cool. Let me watch the Wendy Williams show. Let me check it out and see what it's all about. And they both are going to benefit from this. And, again, I when it comes to Wendy, I am so happy for her. Um just based on the way she looks and the way she's acting and just, you know, her going out, her living in New York. I love it all. But we all know that Wendy is good, like I said in the beginning, at covering up things. She even said how, like, even, you know, when it comes to crying, she will not, like, cry in front of her uh, her her son. She said, basically, she would rather say she stubbed her toe or something. And that's why she's crying um, as opposed to, crying and telling her, you know, her child, you know, like why she's crying, basically. So she hides her emotions well. She doesn't really want people to be in her business like that. So right now what she's doing is great. Um, she is just showing us that she's living her best life. She's throwing like digs at her husband. And I mean, she's doing she's doing her thing. You know, she's doing her thing to save her show. She's doing what it takes to save her show and to appease us, her fans. So I have been happy with what I've been seeing with Wendy. But I just feel like at this point, she reminds me of every woman that goes through any type of breakup. It's like you always want to go back to your friends or make new friends so you can kind of go out and have a good time. Wendy has said time and time again that she is the type of woman that once she gets a man, she kind of like leaves her friends to the side. So perhaps she doesn't have a lot of friends left, you know, because she's been married for quite some time. So, I mean, she figures, hey, why not pick up a couple of new friends now? This will be a good look for me. Also... It was kind of cool for her to have China go out while she had her nephew and her son there because they're young. And of course, China has a younger following. So, of course, that was super cool for them. So, who doesn't really want to look like the cool mom and have, you know, China there for her, you know, for their niece, for their nephew and their son? So, I mean, that was cool for that part, too. It was a good look for Wendy. So, I'm sure part of her going out with China was that. But as far as China and Wendy, the reason why I say it's more like a Hollywood, it's more like, uh, you know, like, it's it's more like business almost. And um, I don't want to say that, say it in a way that, that like they're not actually, they don't actually have some kind of connection or they don't have things in common. But I say this because Wendy is actually, as we know, sober. She is... She's been in the sober house. She's not into drinking or drugs or anything like that. And then you have China. Now, I don't know. According to China, she does she does not do drugs. But I'm sure she drinks and she likes to party and all of that. Genu generally, in the party environment, even if you're with someone who doesn't really, doesn't do drugs, there's usually drugs around. So what I'm saying is, I think China... And Wendy, they're not going to be doing a lot of going out and partying and things like that. Maybe things that China 
events that China may go to may not be the best for Wendy. I do feel that when Wendy comes out to LA, that her and China will probably do dinner and hang out a bit. Kind of like what they did in New York. I mean, that's what they did. They went to dinner. Um, they didn't like go clubbing or anything. But still, a lot of times when you're around like in people like China that are like, well, she seems like kind of like a partier, um, a person that is always around more of a party crowd as opposed to like a sober crowd. That may not be the best fit for someone like Wendy who's trying to stay sober. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe China is a good fit. Maybe China, her and China can go places outside of those types of places. I don't know. But I just kind of don't really see um, mm, a really, really close friendship or anything like that with those two. I just see it being more like a, a Hollywood type friendship. What do you guys think? Do you think that I'm wrong and they probably are going to be really close and you know this is going to develop into something you know str a stronger bond. I also noticed that Wendy was saying that she also had a new friend in Karen from the Potomac Housewives. So like I said Wendy is really trying to I feel get herself back out there meet people and basically look like she is together and look like she is on the right track and that she's having fun because that's basically what people want to see you know they don't no one really wants to see her on tv crying stumbling and fumbling and just you know out of it you know we want to see her alert throwing shade you know going out i mean everyone loves it the crowd goes wild every time she says i went out last night blah 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 everyone is so happy for her so this is a good look for her her ratings are up so whatever she's doing is working i don't know what's going on um behind the scenes with her and her husband who knows for sure we'll never know because she is the one that told us that everything was great in huntersville and that um she was never going to remove her ring or her ring wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. So it's just kind of hard to know when Wendy is being sincere with us. But if she's not being sincere, she is putting on a great front. And she's doing a great job on her show. So we'll see how this all plays out. But it does seem... Also, another point I wanted to make. I do notice like on the stories where she's covering women who have had a divorce or who are going through a divorce, she seems to be really on their sides lately. <laughs> I mean, big time. Um, yeah, I, I, I've just noticed that it just seems like she's really on the side of women who are going through divorce and she's just not really having it for the, hus the, the spouses as much. So, and, and it could be because of her current situation. I don't know. Or it could just be a coincidence. Anyway, what do you guys think about this new found friendship with Wendy and Black China? Do you guys think it'll be long lasting? Do you guys think it's a good look for Wendy? Do you think it's a good look for China? What do you guys think? Also, what do you guys think about the interview with Black China? Um, that interview I thought was great. It, Wendy did a great job turning China into a like a, 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 a like basically a relatable person. Because before, the only thing we saw China as is just like this person with you know her boobs out, her butt, you know, it just kind of like they portrayed her as this like thought, just. You know, like just not much substance at all. But on the interview, we actually saw her as a mother, as a daughter, as a caring person. You know, it just totally changed my image of her. So I don't know. But Wendy did a great job on the interview. What do you guys think? I kind of saw China as a different person. Did you guys or do you guys still see her the same? Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy the content, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Don't forget to comment and share. Peace.